This is Bill North from Florida Weekend Warriors. Whether you're towing a big boat or your big rig, one thing that will ruin a trip in a hurry is having a flat tire. It's super important to have two spare tires. And what people don't realize when on their travel trailer is basically that they should have a rim that matches the other rims on their trailer so that after you change your flat tire, you don't, you're not stuck changing it again to go get the tire fixed. And I've got a unique solution to show you how to add a spare tire on the back of a 2800 Imagine bunkhouse model. Um, it's called the BAL Hide a Spare, and I'll show you in a second. The idea is to keep the matching rim on the back of the trailer that's easily accessible. And then you have the painted rim on the Hide a Spare. And um, hopefully the Bucks have a better year next year, or I may have to get a new spare tire cover. So, anyways. This is the back of our Imagine 2800 BH. As you can see, the only real place to put a spare tire is right in front of the water heater because over to the left is the power outlet and the ladder. So you're unable to really put a spare tire anywhere on the back of it. So one solution is to put it on, their, on the underbelly through um, a product called Hide a Spare. And you can also see that this is one of the, this is a matching rim and I got it straight from Grand Design. Um, I tried looking for this rim on the aftermarket and it's not available. You have to get it through Grand Design and it's basically about $280 and plus about $20 shipping to ship it to your house. This is the BAL Hide a Spare Carrier. It mounts right underneath your camper. And basically all you do to access the spare is just you pull this one nut, this uh, clip out and then undo the nut. Once you pull the nut off, you basically just lift and pull the bracket to get access to the tire. It's just that simple. It slides right out and there's two bolts in the middle of it so you can get access to the tire. So that way um, you can always get to the tire. Then you simply just lift it to put it back on. and put the nut back on. The tire carrier has a 100 pound load rating and it simply just bolts right to the frame. As you can see, I just used some self-tapping screws and it does not come with those, so you will have to go to the hardware store and get those. Now there's basically three different models depending on whether you have a, a C-type frame, an I-frame, and whether or not um, you have a covered underbelly or not. So um, when you're ordering it, uh, pay attention to which one you're ordering. And they're all available on Amazon. And at the end of this video, I will post some um, some links um, straight to Amazon. And they're about $100, and they come with um, free shipping. So I hope you like this video, and please subscribe to our channel. There will be more videos to come. See ya!